to say before I start preaching, you know, one of the main places I go in my uh, itinerant ministry, <laughs> you know where that word comes from? It, uh, they ask the people to they, they ask people to rate this visiting preacher. Zero being the worst preacher you'd ever heard, ten being the best preacher you'd ever heard, and I itinerate. <laughs> uh, I just thought that joke up while I oh. mentioned that. Need to love the word. <laughs> don't rate that joke. <laughs> Lord, please don't rate that joke. <laughs> okay, well, but anyway, you know, I go to Thailand a lot, and I just want, in case you're not aware of it, uh, Thailand's having a really rough time right now. Uh, of all the Southeast Asia countries, uh, Thailand has probably been the most stable uh, for many, many years, and it has been uh, a country where uh, they've welcomed Christians to come, to live there, uh, for missions and missionaries to be based there. Uh, it's partly political and uh, partly their Buddhist, uh, their form of Buddhism that they see that Christians are doing good works and uh, thus are on the road. Maybe next lifetime they will be a Buddhist. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they might progress to be Buddhist, but they're, they're, doing, uh, they're doing good works, so we shouldn't try to stop them and so forth. Uh, but anyway, uh, so for instance, like uh, a missionary to Burma can't really live in Burma. Uh, it'd be very hard for a missionary to Laos to live in Laos or Cambodia, uh, China. Uh, but you can live in Thailand and then go out to those places. And uh, so anyway, Thailand uh, has been very important in the kingdom of God in that respect. But they've been having, and they've, they've got a parliament and uh, elect the prime minister and things like that. But they've also had a king, kind of like the queen of England, the king of England. They've got the title and the respect, but no direct power but the king has had a tremendous influence on the people. And anyway, he's getting very old. He's uh, and, and sickly. And there's a lot of question about what will happen when he dies. Uh, and there's been all these protests against the prime minister, and then they kicked the prime minister out, and they got an, elected a new one. But the people that supported the first prime minister are now protesting, spreading all over the nation, and so forth. And it's uh, very—it's kind of really bad right now. And uh, there's no leadership, and the army doesn't want to get involved again, and. Police don't want to get involved, and so the leader could say arrest these protesters, but nobody would do it. And it, you know, so it's a very touchy situation. The Christians there are really concerned, and and you know, we want to see. Uh, remember, Joseph said uh, in the Old Testament, Joseph said. Uh, you meant it to me for evil, but God meant it to me for good. And you know, Satan would like to take all this unrest and these things and uh, shut down Thailand to the gospel and as a springboard into the other. But God would like to take it and 
open the hearts of the Thai people to Jesus. You know, it's really amazing in spite of Thailand being so open to missionaries and open to uh, Christians and, and that, yet their percentage of Christians is, you know, around one or two percent. Where some of those other countries that are under heavy dictatorship are much higher. So uh, perhaps well, this is going to be the time when the Thailand opens up to Jesus in their hearts, not just in their politics or their, you know, you know. When the y'all remember, remember a few years ago was the tsunami that. Uh, <coughs> killed so many people uh, up and down both coasts over in India and uh, Indonesia and all those places, but also in Thailand and Burma. And the area where it hit Thailand, uh, those people opened up to Christ. And uh, I went there six months after the tsunami before there had been one church and no one could tell you where that church was. <laughs> now that six months, there were 14 churches. And they were all filled. I, I, we visited, Maury and I visited a church that had just started Sunday. This was Wednesday. It was jam-packed. And they baptized 20 on Sunday. Oh, oh, yeah. And every vendor and every little shop had pictures of the missionaries that had come and helped them rebuild their store, rebuild, you know, the Buddhists didn't show up, the Muslims didn't show up, the government didn't show up much, but the Christians were there. And, and, and so uh, then a year later, there were 20 churches there. You know, it wasn't just an overnight thing, but the when... All that they believed in failed them, and there were the Christians. You know, it, then the Christians weren't just, oh, they're just here because they like it, or they're just here so they can go to Burma and preach. And they, they're here for us, and they brought the love of God to us.